Hi guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Madrabbit. As I mentioned in the last video, I would draw five lucky guys to send them Robux as a reward. And now, there are five winners who had been chosen by random draw. Congratulations! All you five guys have to do is to join our official group and then wait seven days to be qualified to receive Robux. Why waiting seven days? That's the rule of Roblox, and we need to comply with those rules. As for those who don't get the reward, please don't be upset. Subscribe my channel and wait for my new draws. Every time I release my new games or big updates, I will do random draws. The more popular the games or updates are, the more generous the reward will be. Therefore, don't forget to check on my channel and give me some likes. I received many suggestions after the last nice. video posted. Many of you suggest me to improve those low quality units. We are working on it now, but it will take some time since my team is not big enough. But have my word, I will improve on all the units as possible as I can. After all, I really hope my Roblox game, Skibidi Battle, can be as close as to the original Skibidi Toilet series created by Boom. Welcome to leave your comments below, and I will take those useful suggestions seriously. It can be really helpful for making better games. I learned that many players are having problems with my numerical design. I am working on it currently, and I really wish you guys could give me some feedback and advice about numerical design. I am not very good at it, but I will try my best to improve it with your help. As for today's video, I want to show you a useful and interesting unit, Camera Strider. For many players, they might spend lots of diamonds to draw, but still fail to get the black camera woman. Camera Strider is a perfect choice for you when you lack a unit which can cause serious damage to those units in the air. He looks arrogant while he's walking. Functioning as a basic supported gun platform, the Strider is proficient at providing suppression. He was equipped with two guns attached to its exterior, one located at the top of him and one attached to the bottom of his body. Three long bendable legs extend out of the Strider's main body, with two connected to the sides and one attached to its rear, looking exactly like a weird spider with three legs. All right, enough making fun of his appearance. In the game, he was designed with two guns, one for regular attack and the other for releasing skills. He uses energy gun Beneth's body to attack the enemy once for a time. His skill is to fire explosive ammunition to his enemy at a rapid rate, and it can shift targets really fast and shoot them non-stop, which are closest to him after the former enemy died. Though he doesn't seem as cool as the plunger man and the camera woman, we only need five energy points to place one camera strider. In other words, when we consume the same amount of energy, only one camera woman can be placed, but two camera striders can be placed instead. So it's pretty economical to use the camera strider. Then, let's see if there's any essential change in its damage. Well, let's watch his excellent performance in the game together. All right. That's all for this video. If you want to know the latest information about Skibidi Battle, you can subscribe to my channel and watch other videos of Skibidi Battle. Leave your comments below if you have any great ideas about Skibidi Battle. As I always said, your support is my biggest motivation to update. See you in the next video.